Hello Total War fans, we are here with the Emperor Edition of Rome Total War 2. I will be bringing to you a Grand, not the Grand Campaign, the Imperador Augustus Campaign. I will be playing as the uh, Marco Mani, the Germanic tribe. So, I'm going to be playing on very hard, and this is indeed a very hard campaign. I actually tried it once without recording already and I lost and then I saw a uh, warrior of Sparta recorded his Marcomani campaign and lost so yeah it is a hard campaign to do but I'm gonna be trying it again and hopefully will be more successful than my last attempt all right uh, let's get this underway At last the time has come to seize the fertile Gaulish lands that, until now, have proved so elusive. Your alliance with the Quadi will protect your advance and enable you to make short work of the obstructive Vindelici. In the past, the Gauls ran to their Roman masters for help. Expect the Helvetii to do the same on this occasion. If you are confident in your ability to face both foes, attack now. Alternatively, spare this province until Octavian's legions are destructive by the collapse of the Triumvirate. It is the time of the Marcomani to new lands and new wars. Okay. Hold on just a sec. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Just gotta do a bit of sinking just in case. Um, right, so, I, last time I tried this campaign, I'm gonna go ahead and research headhunt here, last time I tried this campaign, <laughs> I, like, immediately tried to take over Kelheim here, did not work, and that's really what cost me in the end, because then, like, I got behind, and then I kept getting attacked by other people, and eventually I just couldn't hold everyone off, it was this whole ordeal. So, I think I'm going to start this campaign a little bit differently this time. So, uh, I'm going to... Oh, Father, hmm. be praised! How can I help? I'm going to build up a fairly substantial army. Before I try and just knock I knock out these guys. The old father guides my steps. I'm also going to in service of the tribe. hire a spy to do some sabotage against them. That's something I didn't do last time. Probably would have been very helpful. For the all highest. Ready for battle. Come, okay. What? I don't. I don't know if I want to vote in as spear general. Thinking about changing it to a uh, swordmaster, which I think I'm gonna do, but I want the general. He's my faction leader. I'm just gonna bring in this guy for a turn. Ready for battle. Ready for orders. One, two, three, four, five, five. We need good fighters. Six. For now, I'm just gonna have to use a main line of Spear Brothers, which is not ideal, but it's all it's really the best unit I can make right now okay so we are friends with the quaddy we will gladly listen to your offers but they don't do want to trade lies. the spirits have taken on aggression yes, pact. your words now they'll trade by all the gods don't want a defensive alliance that's fine for now I really want the Trushi I welcome you worthy speaker to leave me alone too, so I, I get a non-aggression pack with them. And put it 
I'll trade with them yes. as well. Your words show wisdom. Nah. Okay, so I've got the Germanic tribes, at least. Um, they're, I shouldn't have to worry about them for now. Which is good. I wish I didn't have to go to war with the Helvetii. You are welcome, although my ancestors. But I probably will. But we're gonna just end this turn for now. And see what happens. So I really, I really like this uh, Emperor Edition. I like the patch and how the game changed, but I really like the campaign too. This is actually a really, really cool campaign. It's a really cool addition to the game. And I'm really glad that CA did it, especially that the fact they made it for free. That was really cool of them. Plus, I think people deserve some stuff for free, considering how many DLCs they've released. It's kind of ridiculous, actually. I speak as the sword. I will give the Trushi military access. That's fine. Okay, so now I'm gonna replace this guy again. Bring back my old general, but this time as a sword master. Okay, so let's move up my spy just to see what the Vindalici are up to. They don't have a large army, but that doesn't mean I should be comfortable just going straight at them because last time it did not work. I'm going to refute a few club levy just to have some extra extra units but cheap cheap units I can't recruit anymore this turn anyways so just put this guy in his agent stance for now I'm going to leave my dignitary here because he um, he will lower the upkeep of all my units in the army I find dignitaries and champions to be the two most useful agents, but an army spy is not, not really that useful. Okay. Don't really have any other things we can do for now. That's good. I'm not going to upgrade any of my buildings. I like the buildings I have in Bergium, but they cost food to upgrade. And I only have zero food right now, so I'm just going to hopefully be able to capture Kilheim, build a farm there, and then upgrade. For those who are wondering why I'm not upgrading buildings right now. It's because I need food. But I don't want to tear down my buildings to build a farm in Bergium. Ideally, I don't even want to have to capture Kelheim. I want to go right after the Romans. After Octavian. Because Vasanto and uh, Trevororum and all those provinces in Gaul. That's what I really want to have. I'm going to research war dance this time. Okay. So here's the plan. I'm going to move up. And try and poison these guys. Please work, please work, please work, please work, please work. Nope. Good job. Good job, spy. Hey, at least you ranked up. I told you I'd be a great man. No, yeah, you're not a very great man right now. Oh, what? I can't remember which one gives me this poison thing. I believe it's antagonist. I think, I hope. Warriors all. Okay, and this guy can be upgraded too, which is good. We're gonna make him a dignitary. So next turn, I'm gonna hopefully... Hopefully, uh, be able to either poison or assassinate their general. I like to assassinate generals before attacking because it basically gets rid of an elite unit. And plus they have no general for extra morale boost and stuff. So assassinating is also very good to do before battle. Poison is very good too. I 
thinking about poisoning with my spy than trying to assassinate with my dignitary. Huh. If my spy is, of course, successful. Which he was not last turn. Though I'm half tempted to just wait here and hope they'd come attack me and destroy them, then uh, I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna try and poison them again. I like wrecking things. Please work this time. Come on, jeez. I had hoped to do better. Yeah, I'd hope you do better too. Come sit, share my fire. For the truth. Uh, I can't. I can't win. I really don't think I can win this if if I can't poison. So I'm just going to fall back for now, um, grab another club levy, grab another couple of spear brothers. I'd also like another Germanic youth, but then I, I really need a cavalry unit. Ugh, but they took the Celtic light horse, did they? No. I really want a Celtic light horse in this army. Alright. I really, 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 really well met, friend. Really hope the health eddy I don't attack me. That's what happened last time. See what happened last time was after I failed to take these guys, the health eddy I declared war on me, Octavian declared war on me, and the other like Alpine Celtic tribes declared war on me, so like the people will turn to the legions <laughs> and speaking they will of set Octavian. their swords to your people. So what I had to deal with was army after army coming after me. I would fight off every single one, but I wouldn't be able to retrain in time, and by the time that, you know I'd fought off all the armies, the original attackers got a new army, so it's like every single turn is a different army. It was ridiculous. I'm just trying to avoid that right now, but I can't build an army or poison these guys, and I'm really frustrated right now. <laughs> Man, this is a tough campaign. Why are the Marquamani so bad? Why are they so bad? Jeez. I'm really tempted to just ignore the, these, what are the, the v Vendelici, something like that. I'm really, really, t Vindelici, I'm really tempted to ignore them and just go straight for Trevor Orm or Vasanto. Oh, man, they have, a, they have a big army too now, though. Sit. Share my fire. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go for Vasanto. And I'm just gonna try and build up another army here. It'll be a weaker army, but I also have the garrison. And hopefully I can hold off any attack from these guys. And I'll use my spy to help out. Does that cost food? Cost food. They all cost food. Okay, can't do anything right now. I want to go to. F really? Oh, I can't even move anywhere else in Force March. I don't know why it does that sometimes. I don't understand that. Okay, I'm gonna another turn. We're gonna continue to march on Vasanto. I don't think the Romans will have a very good army. In my previous campaign, they came at me with an army of Vigiles and Leves the first time they attacked. They had some more upgraded units the second time they attacked, but if I, if I, can, if I can knock them out before they can get those upgraded units, that would be fantastic. And I can secure a western border before their client states declare war on me. I'm just worried about the Helvetia and the Belgae. 
the Belgae and the Helvetii attack me, that's when things can get bad. I'm not worried about two factions at once. Four, that's, that's a problem. Alright. Let's do Earthworks. Just to get some more growth in our provinces. We'll continue to move up toward Visanto. I'm actually for now going to move my spy up here. Okay, they don't have anything at Trevor Warm. Okay, encounter the Belge. They are a client state of you Octavian. Welcome, my ancestors and people but I will offer them so much money for a non-aggression pact. Thank you. I can okay. I do not have to worry about the Belgae, which is <laughs> fantastic. They were my biggest concern. Alright, that should be a fair enough army there. Hopefully, hopefully that should be enough. Alright, just gonna end one more turn. And then we should be able to attack the Romans. Should be. Maybe not. I don't think... I mean, the, he, Octavian declared war on me, but he's not being very aggressive right now. So I'm wondering if Vasanto even has a garrison. Besides, of course, the city garrison. I could go after Trevor Warren, but uh, I want the big <laughs> I want the big city first. declared the radiant and the Ven oh that is so good for me i cannot even begin to describe because last time these guys declared war on me greetings but if they're at war with my enemies me, for we are an honest folk the enemy of my enemy is my friend others. apparently not these guys though they're the exception all right let's move on my scout for a sec okay Vasanto is unguarded so we can go take that we can take this very easily don't even need a fight. And that'll be a nice source of income as well. Okay. Let's give him... Let's give him the strategist. We'll convert that to a commons, but I don't really want a... I don't want a workshop here. And we can't... We don't have enough money for that yet. So let's move my spy. Let's go to move him back to keep an eye on the Vindalici. Still don't trust them. They could attack at any second. But hopefully the... Uh, the Rady, Righty, never learned how to say those guys' names. Hopefully... They will actually come take this province, and then, and then if I can just keep a peace with these guys, I can focus on the west, not have to worry about the south, because my eastern border is secure, and the north is secure. So right now, I should be able to only focus on these guys, the Romans. Alright, we got Germanic culture going up too, which is good. I guess we should go... Well, alright, I'm just going to end that turn. We need to take Trevor Warren as soon as possible. But I don't want to leave the Santo, because they're actually a different province. 
they're in a different province, so that means they, their public order will be different. So, Visanto could easily rebel if I were to leave it. And I don't think I have enough money to afford another army, since I still have to keep that army at Bergium. For now, at least. This campaign, though, is starting much better than the last one, so that's a good sign. Hopefully I can make it past episode 3. <laughs> but, uh, I actually think it's time for me to end episode right here, though. So I'm going to end the, this episode right here. I'm going to start on the next turn, obviously, for episode 2. See you then.